Enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. Welcome to another installment of Break Room at the Cineplex. I am your host, Henry Harrison, and with me I have my two co-hosts. Dun, 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 dun. You guys need Kyle. to say your name. Oh, there you go. Kyle. Best. Hi, thanks Where for having me. We review any movie. In fact, sometimes it's not even a movie, out, but we'll do anything one. from Harvey Porter to Gunman. Welcome to the show. Thank my you. name is Kyle McClinsky. My name is Greg. <laughs> and I'm Henry Harrison. I really think this new intro is working out well, you guys. Yeah. yeah. I think we just need to iron out some of the wrinkles. You know what? Fuck it. Those wrinkles are great. <laughs> Keep the wrinkles. More Keep wrinkles. Them. Keep the wrinkles. Mm-hmm. We need some aging cream on this bitch. We need some more wrinkles. Yeah. Let's not refer to a podcast as a bitch. All right. You did. You, offensive. You were the one who Excuse did that. Excuse me. Harrison. <laughs> That was probably the greatest use of a pause. <laughs> applause. Yeah. And uh, at home, you can clap along. Mm-hmm. Feel free. Clap along when you hear this sound. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are, if you're at work, if you're driving a car, in car whatever take those you hands do. off the wheel yeah. and clap when you hear this sound. Thanks for playing. Thank you for playing Thanks along for at home. Playing along. I am in a good mood, you guys. That's great. I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, in contrast to how things went. Yeah, I I feel like we've made we've taken steps in the right direction. And while this was a disaster, our our wingman attempt, I feel like I've learned I've learned some things that will help me in the future. There you go. I'm trying to remain positive. That is fantastic. We should probably recap for everyone how our attempt at, at uh, a group. Yeah. 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 It's a, there's a story. There's it's a story a, there. A doozy. So I ended up asking out. <coughs> oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, my God. There's a ladybug flew in my mouth. Oh, man. I didn't see a ladybug. I don't see every bug. You don't see you don't every trust, bug. You don't trust Henry that he's telling us the truth? Come what does he have to hide? I don't. I don't trust this guy. Can you vouch for him? Yeah, I'll vouch for Henry. Uh, so I asked out Charlotte, and she was nice enough the to spider? say yes. No, no, not no, not the spider. She doesn't exist. I think I don't see every bug. <laughs> no, I asked out Charlotte uh, from the Butter Shack. Right, oh. Linda's Butter Shack. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she said yes, as you guys know, because we went on this date. Yeah, and you guys were talking in my ear the yeah, whole time. Yeah, I didn't That's know correct. her name was Charlotte. How you did didn't you know miss her name was detail? Charlotte. Like, Kyle said at the door, "Hello, Charlotte. Would you like a ride, Charlotte? Seeing as I'm already here, Charlotte." I thought I was just mispronouncing chariot. Why would I be saying chariot that much? You're like, here's my chariot. Your chariot <laughs> awaits. I was saying your Charlotte. Sunday awaits. with a chariot on top. <laughs> I, I understand your confusion uh, Charlotte, um, that makes sense Charlotte, yeah. yeah And we went to Rodolfo's That is correct Which is now called Linda's Linda's name Lind- Linda's Rodolfo's Linda's Rodolfo's mm. Bistro She added bistro to it, I don't know And so uh, It just used to be Rodolfo's <laughs> uh, But you guys, you guys hung out Were you, where were you? I actually didn't see you if you were in the restaurant or in a car outside or yeah we were actually in a uh, plumbing van that's right uh, uh in s- <laughs> just a few booths down in the in the restaurant yeah i'm surprised y'all didn't notice us <laughs> we had to make a reservation far in advance for that too i'm really happy that we decided to go to rodolfo's because we already had a reservation right <laughs> yeah we had planned this months in advance, months in advance. To, together to go to linda's rodolfo's bistro in a plumbing, in a plumbing van. van yeah weird mm-hmm so it was, it's nice I that mean, it all worked yeah, out it yeah it was kind of crazy fortuitous mm-hmm. but yeah we had a uh, we had some nice linguine mm-hmm. and, uh, i had the manicotti oysters on a half shell mm-hmm. oysters on the full shell right but the story is not about you two and the dinner and for you dessert had. we had a wonderful baked alaska with bing cherries so charlotte and i got to the restaurant <laughs> and you guys were already talking in my ear quite a bit but i think just to each other that that is true some uh, 
we kind of like the mechanism lively conversation it was, mm-hmm. you know when you just when you get when you get clicking yeah conversation conversation ticking. is just ticking <laughs> You guys were arguing a lot, which was kind of distracting. No, we were conversing. I think maybe... maybe. (laughs) (laughs) You're also just like mispronouncing words and then stopping. When the conversation's just clicking, you know. And we just a ticking. It just keeps ticking. Let me tell you. I'll tell you. So your date was going. Mm -hmm. And it... Yeah, from from our end, it seemed pretty good. It seemed like the food was good. The service was amazing. Mm -hmm. Bing cherries. Bing Bing chariots. It was was great. (laughs) Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that you were able to keep the conversation as... Sutherlandless, mm-hmm. as you did. Well, just the constant babbling in my ears from you two kept me distracted the entire time. Really allowed her to give a chance to talk. Yeah, to give a chance to get a chance. <laughs> I have no idea what she said. I couldn't hear her the entire time. Well, I'm sure it was nice. She's. She, I'm sure it was nice. I could see in the rearview mirror that that her face started. To wilt, but I'm I'm sure that's just because conversation got, uh, uh, you know, maybe deep. Deep conversation I think is she good. She started asking me questions, but I didn't know what she was saying, so I couldn't mm. answer them correctly. Oh sure, but so what did you do? I said yes, and I would nod, and then mm. I would say, and then maybe because <laughs> you said that, and then I would try to. We didn't have a signal for when I was supposed to say what you were saying. So That's I was just true. Kind of picking phrases. Mm-hmm. The, it was a flaw in the system. Mm-hmm. I can we'll, see. I can see that now. We'll iron out those wrinkles. Those ones. Those wrinkles, and only those ones. <laughs> so, in conclusion, uh, yeah, date went okay, then bad, then she threw water in my face based and on then, something. And then, how do you know? And that then that Greg was a bad took thing. over, and it was better. And I then, swooped in. You made her cry. You well, okay. Went home, you Here's the thing. Your bed his post. Bed post. I would like to think that when somebody throws water in the face of my friend and I come to back him up, mm-hmm. I would think that that is a, a, a good thing. But then Granted, just, my choice of words. He waited until he went to the bathroom to clean up. Well, you stepped it. You yeah. left me in the van at the table i think in a in an appropriate point in our conversation <laughs> i mean sure i mean mid yeah ch- mid, mid, pause. mid cherry yeah mid cherry you know i could still hear you in the microphone in my ear when i was talking to her whilst you were in the restroom yes ooh so i uh, heard we you talk, a, and talking you, talk, shit and you could probably about hear me. the inside of his ear pretty well too with the microphone in there yeah could you hear what my ear i could hear the ocean like? but you just started hitting on her Right yeah, away, like, bad I could hear me. from well, three tables away. I mean, how loudly well, hey, and I can't aggressively help it if my you were voice hitting fills on. a room. You told her my middle name, which you know is a is a point of embarrassment for me. I was trying to, I was trying to get her comfortable again. You were clearly not. You were clearly <laughs> making me look worse, so that you could take over the date, make her cry, mark your bedpost, and move on, as you do. Okay, I don't understand why we're arguing about this because it seems like we're on the same page so i think we should try this again from a technical standpoint it worked we just need to to have uh, better communication right and maybe this and this is just a suggestion but maybe like greg maybe you don't come when at all i think that where that would fix all the issues because then henry wouldn't be having a secondary conversation Ooh. You wouldn't be trying to well, interfere with the date. I guess it just depends if like our plans line up, you know. Yeah. Because like we already had this reservation, so yeah. it wasn't like we you were have reservations like resume. all around town. Usually, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't mean, know you most two places. went out to restaurants this often together. Well, we're friends. We like to hang out sometimes. You never hang out with me. It's because you always talk we, about Donald Sutherland. I mean, come on. Sorry, that's true. I'm too busy bod- podcasting. Yeah. What in the world? Well, I on, got man. a strict schedule to keep up with. Well, 16 hey, well, a week. There we go. And how's that doing for you? It's going great. Oh, well. Oh, well, I didn't expect I that. Like, don't take this the wrong way, but mm-hmm. I was expecting you to fail. Oh, uh, thanks, Greg. Don't take it the wrong way, though. Okay. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get the podcast going. Sure. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Breakroom and the Cineplex. My name is Kyle McClinsky. My name is Greg. I'm Henry Harrison.
Nice. And uh, this week we watched a movie that was sent to us by a listener. Yes, we did. This listener is a repeat offender. We've already gotten a oh my movie. God. Uh-oh. Not- Uh-oh. Repeat offender alert. Well, uh, repeat offender. This- I hardly know her. <laughs> this message is from Nelly, who uh, previously gave us gross, grosser, Whoa, grossest. Nelly. <laughs> I'm sure that's the first time Nelly's heard that. Oh, uh, but yeah, they gave us a uh, gross, gross, or grossest. Do you remember that film? Oh, Beautiful. right. What a gross film. So uh, Nelly sent us another uh, DM. Slide into Ooh. the DM. Don't DM? Let anybody know. <laughs> when you hear that sound, you know that someone has slide into the DM. Keep it a secret. Uh, and Don't Nelly said, "Hey guys, recently hey. listened to Word, which is another that's episode the of the podcast. Check it out." Greg whistled a perfect C, just like in the movie. Does he have perfect pitch? Let's stop there and let's answer this question. Greg, do you have perfect pitch? Uh, no, I would say I have relative pitch, which in my opinion is better. Okay, <laughs> and continuing the, the, the message, it says, uh, reminds me of the movie Tin Pan Nally, which is full of great chili-themed hit songs. Can't wait to hear what you think of it. That's from Nelly. Word I made rem- her think of. I remember that. No, you singing a perfect C. Made her think of chilies. Made her think of Tin Pan Nally, which is full of great chili themed hit songs. I think it's oh, the music aspect. Gotcha. It's a music. Mm-hmm. My my my. Mm-hmm. Tin Pan Nally. Tin Pan Nally. Yeah, this was a period piece mm-hmm. during the the gold rush. Yes. They might be panning for gold. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, in California, in California, but it's sort of like an alternative history in which people were panning for beans. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. Beans so were the primary. It, was the, uh, it, was it the starts with our big opener, yes. our, like the big opener where we sweep down from the mountains and everybody's singing their songs. Mm-hmm. It's called Free Holes, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's uh, just you know singing their Eureka. We got the beans, and they're like they're you know everybody's. Yeah. In this little minor town, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, everybody's singing along, Free having a morning. good time. Yeah, you you take this one, Greg, with your relatively perfect pitch or whatever. So that's the big opening number. <laughs> And it goes on for a little while. They're, they're, say, they're singing like about four pintos. Minutes. They're yeah. singing about black beans. They're singing about them all. That's yeah, every, right. like it's kind of at one point the camera is dollying down this river, and and each uh, prospector, not a yes, yeah. would that be? okay, That's the uh, one. pops up and is like, I found a a black bean. I found a pinto. The same <laughs> ones you mentioned, and others. And uh, and see, so, yeah, the, this river, they've struck beans, as they say. They've struck beans. And um, we pan down this river all the way to the very, very end, where we get our last prospector, which is our main character. Yeah. And we find Ryan right there. Um, and he's he's shifting the, the water, trying to find some beans, mm-hmm. and nothing's coming up. He's Literally, not everybody anything. else is finding beans in this river. It might be because he's downstream from know. everybody else. He's I mean, like, who knows? all I'm finding is gold. And he's throwing it back in. <laughs> Damn gold! And um, eventually, it's they have they call it a day. The sun sets, and everybody's like, all right. And they sing, they finish their song on the crescendo. Free holy! <laughs> and they 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 pile into the the, the tavern nearby uh-huh. for for drinks afterward, and so everybody's like you know going over their hall for the day, and he's like I got a whole bag of garbanzo and a whole bag of pinto, and then then and, and um, you know uh, we got Ryan at this table over here, and he's just looking down and sad, like he's like looking at these mountains of gold that he's found, he's right. Like, it's like I can't that? even afford a drink with this. You see other prospectors like flicking a bean to the to the bartender and being like, "They're all just they're all just flicking the beans <laughs> at the bartender." And the bartender is bartender's bartender's super excited about yeah, it. The bartender's <laughs> getting, bartender's pouring these drinks so much he's getting all wet and all these beans being flicked. <laughs> oh god! It was inadvertent. I meant in a literal sense. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so Ryan's sitting so over Ryan's there. So Ryan's sitting there, and um, and and the party kind of fades, like the noise kind of like peters out, and we get this mysterious character who who sits at the table with them, mm. 
and he's got a whole mug full of whatever it is, ale or whatever, and he's yeah, whatever drinking it drinking. and slams it down on the table. He's a much older prospector. We should mention mm-hmm. Ryan is is relatively young. He just sounds kind of like an old yeah, small. Yeah, he sounds yeah. like a very small person, like in stature and it seems in personality as well. <laughs> not a very interesting guy Ryan. no no he's like if i would imagine if this character walked into a room it would just drain the energy no one would notice but they'd all be like i feel worse for some reason <laughs> do you all feel worse is it all flicking beans so this <laughs> this guy sits at the table uh-huh. and he and he's like um uh ryan kind of looks at him gives him a glance and he's like so do you, where did you find your beans today where did you find your beans <laughs> says ryan i've been up in the mountains there's a stream up there my name is mysterious marvin (laughs) (laughs) and i'm here because it seems like you need some help and i feel obliged to assist you let's go up tomorrow and i'll show you my secret river Mm -hmm. ryan immediately trusts mysterious marvin Mm -hmm. um in the next morning they, they get on them. horseback, yeah, mm-hmm. and they take and they, off. And they start the going mountains. off. Yeah, they, right. they, they start going off, and, and uh, um, they're 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 off was that any beaten path. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. What's that? Uh, Henry just it's choked on another, another ladybug. ladybug. Are you eating bugs over there? They're just flying in my mouth. I don't see every bug. Uh, right. Continue. Sorry. So that they're going up and they're going off uh, off any beaten path, uh-huh. uh, and 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 Ryan's asking mysterious Marvin. <laughs> He's like, well, how do you know which way you're going there, Marvin? <laughs> and he says, please well, call me mysterious. Please. <laughs> Marvin was my father. <laughs> and Marvin says, but Marvin says, you see, I, I don't know which way I'm going. I let the chilies tell me. And he pulls out these dried chilies. Mm-hmm. And he shakes them in his hand and he, he drops them on the ground. Them in the yeah, air, just yeah. throws them. And they, and they just start the floating. wind takes them away, and they start to flow. And this is where we get our second song, mm-hmm. Chilies in the Wind. Chilies in the Wind. And it's like, it's Mysterious Marvin's the kind of introductionary Chilies song. In the wind. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like a, a Tom Waits sort of sounding song. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a little unsettling. Like, you feel like this guy's a bad guy. Yeah. And right away, you get the feeling. I'm not the richest in the world. <laughs> But this this song goes over this, you know, it, it carries us through this montage of them winding their way, following the chilies floating on the wind, uh, up until they do discover this tiny waterfall mm-hmm. that leads into a tiny river that goes into a, a pretty big cave. <laughs> Mildly. Yeah. It's large. And Marvin's like, ah, this this is the one. This is the river I was at yesterday, I remember. Look at how the chilies just fall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he kneels down. He starts. He starts. You know, sifting, sifting through, there. through there, and immediately a bean goes. I've struck beans. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many beans. <laughs> and so, so he he's, he's just shoveling them out, and and as he's going crazy for these beans, mm-hmm. uh, Ryan, as Ryan's going crazy for these beans, um, the mysterious Marvin, he kind of uh, sinks back into the shadows. Mm-hmm. He just he he. Oh backs into a bush yeah. until you can't see him anymore. Trust those chilies in the wind. There's something mysterious about this Marvin guy. <laughs> and and so um, Ryan is just, he's like, Eureka, I found so many bees. And he looks around and, and mysterious Marvin isn't there. He's gone, but his chilies are there. His chilies are all big there. Big bag of chilies. And so uh, he he grabs the chilies and and he starts filling filling bags with beans. Mm-hmm. He's, he's got bag upon bag upon bag to the point his horse is overloaded with beans. He he can't even take all these beans. more beans than a horse can beans. carry. That's where that old phrase came. Oh, from. Oh, that's where that comes from. Yeah. Wow! But he's not willing to take multiple trips. Mm-mm. So he's like, all right, well, then I'm just gonna carry beans and I'm gonna put these rest of my beans on my horse and I'm gonna walk back. And, and that's going to be the only way that I'm going to get all these beans back in time. And he's like, I got to find my way back. Maybe I'll throw the chilies in the wind again. So he throws them up, and they just float right back to the river. He's like, great. These chilies only show you the way to well, this. They only yeah. show one you river. where the beans are. Oh, great. Okay. They don't show you the way home. And so he he knows that they climbed a mountain. Right. And uh, he knows Ryan, bless his heart, bless starts it. going up. 
He should not go down the mountain, I You'd would think. you think so, but this guy seems dunce. <laughs> he seems a dunce. He does seem a dunce. And so uh, Ryan starts climbing the mountain even higher. Yeah, he's like, maybe from the top I can see my way down. <laughs> Which I can see the logic in that, but it's not great. <laughs> mm-hmm. He, he's cl- he's climbing up there, and as as he, as he's climbing, he he's he's inspecting the chilies. He's mm-hmm. inspecting the chilies because he's a he's like he's like a, um he's like what well, what well, maybe maybe one of these can show me the way home. We know they don't, mm-hmm. but he he's he's just looking through them and he's like he's like ooh, there's a jalapeno. There's a other ones. <laughs> he names the chilies. Habanero. Habanero. If there's one thing Ryan knows, it is the names of chilies. He knows the names of these knows chilies. Them all. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, in in a, I suppose in a society that is so bean centric, yeah, uh, uh, they would also know the chilies because you probably learn is one of the first things you learn as a yeah. kid. Eventually, he gets to the top of this mountain, mm-hmm. and his horse is is dead tired at this point. Like his horse is dead. His horse died, and he, so he's got all the all beans, beans in the world, mm-hmm. but no way to get them home. Mm-hmm. So what he does is he he basically is able to combine the beans into one sack. Mm-hmm. And he's like, all right, well, I, since I'm at the top here, I can just roll them down now. Yeah, he rips apart all his sacks and sews them together sews into one together. large sack. And yeah, he has As any good giant... prospector would have a sewing kit. Of course. It's important. You never know. And so he starts rolling his beans home. Throws them down. Well, he, he pushes them down, and they start rolling down the hill, mm-hmm. uh, the mountain. And and he and he's he's like uh, he's like well I well I can't just roll down myself I'll die, and he trips on a rock. He, and he trips on a rock, tumbling down this mountain. And and he's he's slowly he's you know getting hurt. He's like ooh ah yow ee woo, and then he 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 tumbles into an onion patch on this mountain. On this mountain, and these onions, like he 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 kind of he kind of kind of gets up and he's like onions. <laughs> Maybe these onions can show me the way home. <laughs> and he just starts well, throwing now, chilies on him. In this, at this point in the film, uh-huh. I exclaimed, "What?" Mm-hmm. I because uh, I'm still trying to. We're still trying to figure out the rules of this world. <laughs> sure. Yeah, beans hell- are their primary currency. Currency. Um, Ryan doesn't seem too bright. No. no. I don't, I mean, but do onions help? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Are he se- he seems pretty are sure. They... Yeah. Are, uh, wh- why have we not seen onions until now if they can show you show home. you the way home or something? And so he he, t- he takes an onion and, and, and he, and he, sa- he starts shaking it up. <laughs> and he starts another song. <laughs> onions he's talking about white onions red onions chives onions don't make me cry yeah 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 yeah. um and he he finds his way home well he's like after he he, he gets to the bottom of the hill finds the beans (laughs) yeah well so he he gets these onions and he's trying all these different methods to get them to show him the way home he's chopping them up he's peeling them he's boiling them he's doing he's frying them i don't know caramelizing them and yeah eventually he's like well i'm all out of onions i better just go find my bag of beans and so he heads down the direction that they the beans were going they lead him to the bottom of the mountain imagine that who would have thunk it but he's got all these onions with him now because uh, he's puts them in his pockets yeah pocket he, he full puts of them on pocket full of onions and he got he also kind of sings a little song called pocket, pocket full, full of onions, onions. <laughs> <laughs> a whisper full of dreams what does that mean <laughs> uh so he gets back down to the bottom of the mountain mm-hmm. and uh night has come and gone it is morning again. it is morning, morning. the sun is rising and and all the other prospectors are coming out Back to the river to search mm-hmm. for some beans, and uh, uh, Ryan kind of tumbles out of some some bushes, mm-hmm. and, uh, and 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 all the prospectors are like, "Well, there's Ryan, there's idiot Ryan over there, oh, yeah. <laughs> a big bag of gold." Or something. I hardly <laughs> noticed he was here, but I feel worse. <laughs> and 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 Ryan kind of kind of comes through and is like, "Hey, fellas, you think you're some hot shit? Well, check this out." <laughs> Opens up this bag, and all, and all the prospectors are like, "Where the hell did you get all those beans?" 
And 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 Ryan says, "I'll never tell." <laughs> Chilies. <laughs> And then he turns his pockets out and all these onions start falling out. I was like, I also got these. And they're like, onions, those are significant in some way in this world. They show you the way home. We'll give you all these beans for those onions. And so onions are somehow worth more than beans? I don't know. But they get back. He, they, they, uh, uh, Ryan, as, as Ryan's like, like, no, these are my onions, my onions, my onions. He trips over a rock. He keeps falling. <laughs> He and he falls over rock. down the mountain, farther down, further down, down into his, another town. His beans are falling after him, mm-hmm. and he 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 crashes into this town. And people are like, "Whoa, oh my, where this person comes from?" The beans fall on top of him. The onions go everywhere. The chilies and everything mix together. What what, what, what is, have you done? What have you done? You've ruined these beans. Beans should not go next to chilies, which should not go next to onions. Now we don't know what's going on. This tastes pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, there's this little kid over there who, who doesn't know any better and sticks the main currency of this world in its mouth. In its mouth. Idiot and and he's like, listen, this is so good. I'll give you gold for this. <laughs> I've got a bunch of gold that no one wants that they gave to me, a kid. A child. And I'll trade you for it. He's like, I, I don't know if that sounds <laughs> right, seeing as I started this with gold and I don't need it. Wow, okay, why not? Yeah. This is a good... This is a good... So he grabs the gold and he keeps falling. He keeps (laughs) falling! Well, the other townspeople are coming out and, like, throwing gold at him. And taking beans and taking onions and taking chili. And and they're, they're singing about how they've never tasted anything so good. That song starts, but then, yeah, Ryan trips again and right. kind of rolls away from the and song. We, and you, only get about, you only get about six seconds of that yeah. song before it fades yeah. out. We got an onion eye, and then it falls away. <laughs> <laughs> We've never tasted things so good. <laughs> and so Ryan tumbles down. He tumbles down. Further down this mountain. Further down. And eventually he falls into a river mm-hmm. and uh he's all the gold spills out of his pockets mm-hmm. <laughs> just into the empties river. out into, into the, the river, river where there are people prospecting mm-hmm. for gold what you mean to say and this is when we kind of as the audience make the realization that maybe currency the currency of the world isn't beans maybe it was just these two weird regional so yeah the the townsfolk in this town are like Ah, look at all the gold that this this weirdo had and rolled down the mountain. And they start panning for gold. They could just start grabbing it, but they yeah. just, just out of his pockets, you know. Yeah. Out yeah. Of... But instead that they're they're just walking up to him and with their pans and yeah. picking it up and kinda shaking, shaking it, up. it around. And like, Ooh And he's like, Not my gold, I traded all my beans for that. And they're like, Oh, you want some beans? We've got We've beans. Got beans. We've got as many beans as you want. We've got beans, we've got onions, we've got chilies. Motherfucker, we got sour cream. <laughs> and they start singing about sour cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, and, the and creamiest it's... you'll ever see. But they're like, but keep in mind, we have all those things, but we never mix them. They've never been mixed before, and we have no intention of mixing like, them now. And Ryan's like, listen, I got something to show you. <laughs> let's, let's just mix all these up. <laughs> and here we come to the title song, Tin Pan Nally. Tin Pan Nally. Because uh, Ryan's last name apparently is Nally, which we didn't know until, until this very this song. song when he reveals it to us. Poor yeah. writing. Ryan Nally. Is that the? Is that where the chili comes from? That brand of chili. I think. This was, was this a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is some it happened again. Product placement. Oh it my happened goodness. again. Yeah. Is this well, the same anyway, situation a, as Wait Don't Tell Me? We watched another ad. Yeah. Ugh. This one was, well, I mean, n- thinking about it that way, it kind of makes sense. It makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. The non-linear. Yes. Yeah. They do a little bit of world building, but not enough for you to really get what's going on. Yeah. yeah. And then this is when Ryan and then turns just... to the camera and is like, you know That's where a... I come from. No, Beats are the most important thing. Mm-hmm. But if you mix them with the... <laughs> if you mix them with onions, and chilies. He, and he puts them all into a can and the label appears. And he's like, you got Nally brand chili. Chili. <laughs> Nally brand. Better the... than gold. <laughs> <laughs> Better than actual gold. 
And then, yeah, the title song ends up being the jingle for Nelly mm-hmm. Brand Chili, which we all know, so we don't need to sing it. And uh, well, I think we should all sing it at the same time. Okay. Nelly Brand, Brand Chili. <laughs> what a lovely jingle. <clears throat> and that's the end. <laughs> that was, that was yeah. their, their closing number. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it it went on for a bit longer. To be fair, like the, the, they started singing about chili, and then and then Ryan Natley started talking about it. Mm-hmm. While well, they're singing in the background, he mm-hmm. talks directly to the camera, pulls up the can, mm-hmm. and then yeah, it all sort of crescendos in the the jingle, uh-huh. which was Natley Brand Chili, <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, yeah, it just it just sort of ends, and I w- I will say like I understand your confusion, Nelly, if you did think that this was a film because most commercials don't have six or seven full length songs in them, and most aren't ninety minutes. Yeah, so I un- I understand. I mean, maybe this was just a film that the product placement it was just sponsored. Yeah, they they paid enough that they were like, all right, we'll just base the whole film around your product. We paid enough money. This is ours now. That's how it give me works. that. Give me that. Give me that script. Give me that. Let give me, me that movie. Let me rewrite that. What is this? A movie? Yeah. Give me that movie. Let's pour some chili on this. I'm about to make it as a movie. Pour some chili on me. That was that played <clears throat> over the credits. Yeah, they, yes, they, it they did. Had, they had some interesting like uh, spoofs on songs. Yeah, yeah. The credits. it was uh, just a parody of "All We Are Is Chili in the Wind." <laughs> <laughs> there it is. A house in Chili Town. They yes. They called it Nelly Brand. <laughs> what is it? The credits were also incredibly in the long. Yeah, yeah, they had another six or seven full-length mm-hmm. songs during mm-hmm. the credits. Just for the credits. So what is that? 12, that's 12 to 14 songs that they wrote for a commercial. Uh-huh. Yeah. Honestly impressive. Uh-huh. I'll say. So thanks, Nelly, for that Nally film. Wow. Uh, Nelly got Nally. N- n- nilly nally. N- nally that's not dilly not dally nilly nally so thank you nelly for sending us this eight out of ten film. film eight yeah. out of ten film yeah boom it's about to bank to six bank. out of ten i thought it was good i just found myself hungry for chili by the end so i guess it was effective they got you they did let's go have some chili when was the last time you had chili it's been far too long I had it just the other day, but it's been way too long. Isn't that what you had at Rodolfo's? Yes, we got chili. Mm. <laughs> just big bowls of chili. Big bowls of chili. That's at probably Linda's their Linda's best. You know, Linda's Bistro. Rodolfo's Bistro is not known for their chili. No, it Which wasn't, is surprising. Wasn't it's good, good. chili. Oh, you the, like the chili? I think it's fantastic. Uh, I disagree. I, I yeah, I'll give this movie a six. Uh, uh, purely for the for, for the music, that, that was some good music. Mm-hmm. Sorry if we didn't do justice, but <laughs> you, it's not like you have perfect pitch. Yeah, I can't rely on relative that. pitch. Relative, which is better. relative, which is pitch. better. Mm-hmm. Because not every instrument is tuned the exact same. Idiots. Okay, calm down. God damn it! If you would like to submit a film or a commercial for us to watch. Sure, we'll watch be, anything. Fine, we uh, do those. We'll watch anything. Yeah, maybe next time, like specify ahead of time that it's commercial, but that's fine. That's if we fine. find out you while know, we're watching we, it, we figure it out. Uh, yeah, we got there. We're pretty good at movies. We know when they're not them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you can reach out on Twitter, like Nelly did at uh, Cineplex Podcast, or via email at cineplexpodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, yeah. So I think. This week, I'm going to try to go on another date. Do it. Henry, you'll be my wingman. Greg, do it. you'll sit this one out. Maybe. Please sit this one out. We'll see. Where are you going? I don't yeah. want to say while Greg is here. Huh? What are you, uh, what are you going to eat there? I'm not, I don't want to say. Hmm. He's just going to go to Rodolfo's again. Where else, are they, where else is he going to go? We don't really have many restaurant nice either. restaurants yeah. in town. I'm not going to take her to the Butter Shack because Charlotte's going to be there and we just had our horrible date. So you can never go back there. You can never go back to the Butter Shack. Oh, no! Kyle! Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you very much. And don't forget to clap when you hear this sound.